Okay, you, unity is cool. You know, togetherness, uh, closeness, community. That's all good. You know, we can always agree to disagree on certain issues and points and practice. You know, but uh, within all these different factions and organizational structures, all these subgroups and categories, there still can be unity amongst so many different individuals and, and, and corporations and religions and political persuasions, whether you're Democratic or Republican or whether you're Catholic or Mormon or, is, or, or Muslim. You can still find common ground and be unified in that respect, but you're still going to have differences, and you know there's a, there's freedom to have those differences up to a certain point, as long as it doesn't violate the general golden overall general uh, golden rule, which is to love your neighbor as yourself and to love God and to love your family especially. Love is the prevailing factor. Love is the should be the the, the dominant factor. Uh, you know, you're supposed to care, like Saint Paul said. He said to be concerned with be putting stumbling blocks in front of other people. You know, some people may not be as further further along in your convictions and your beliefs and your what you know. They may not know what you know as far as uh, biblical truth or doctrines and covenants and rules and regulations they may not know all that there's there's ignorance with everyone no no individual knows everything so you have to take that into consideration that uh, you have to approach them in a kind of a tactful uh, gentle way to somehow find a connection where and, and a suitable time and a suitable way to disseminate that information because people can get all upset and up, uh, in an uproar, especially when you bring up politics or religion. So you gotta, there is a, there is a tactful approach on how to do it. I'm still, I'm still in discovery mode to try to figure out how to talk, talk uh, in a way that's uh, effective and and, uh, and uh, what's not only effective but uh, what's palatable, what's appropriate. Uh, sometimes words don't come out the way you intend them to come out, and uh, people can be offended, or people can look at you and say, "Who is this dude?" And you gotta be, you gotta select your words carefully, and you have to. And it's not just the word that selecting the words; it's the timing of the words. Does the situation uh, is it appropriate for that moment? May not be appropriate. It may be appropriate the message, but the timing is off. The timing is off. So all there are so many factors so involved when you talk to people, and they're still going to be still going to be subjected to misinterpretation of what anybody says. Some people they have either selective hearing or they pick and choose what they want to hear or they deliver.